All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Sunday's Vision Art Life. My name is Adi Walak Bokeh Jr. Please review us, rate us, give us a five star. Don't be a hater. Today, I'm going to talk about Superman, the man of steel himself. I know a lot of y'all been waiting for me to get around to Superman because I've been talking about all these other superheroes. But guess what? Finally here. Superman, the man of steel. So we're going to get into that today. Both of us get into this, into this podcast. We're going to pay some of these bills and thank our sponsors. This Sun's Vision podcast is brought to you by Tegler. If you need executive services from plumbers to pediatricians and everything in between, that's Tegler.com. That's Tegler.com. Get your search on at Tegler.com today. Don't wait. Search Tegler.com. You know, if you're looking for the best of the best, contractors, uh, shoot, nursing, um, plumbers, uh, landscapers, you name it, Tegler.com. That's Tegler.com. Owner, executive director, owner, executive owner, and executive director, I like to call them. Aditya Bokeh is damn for sure going to let you know it's going to be there. He's running a great company and he's Tegler.com. It's, it's, it's an amazing search engine. You can pretty much find everything you're looking for in terms of businesses, in terms of uh, professionals. I mean, if you want the best professionals, you got to search on Tegler.com because their president and owner, Aditya Book has got that thing cracking over there. And we'd be, we, we are definitely honored to have joined forces with them because they have made Science Vision an um, amazing brand. People are searching Tegler.com. So keep searching. You, we only, only here at Science Vision, we only join forces with the best of the best. And as I'm growing, so is everything else around me. So guess what? Now we got another partner, Tegler.com. So that's Tegler.com, y'all. Search Tegler.com. And this podcast is also brought to you by Anadel Fodanako. Don't live with foot pain. Let Anadel Fodanako make your feet happy again. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. That's AnadelCenter.com for details, y'all. As I stated before, I always got each one of these pair of custom orthotics in my foot designed by the one and only, the great, the best foot doctor galaxy, best foot specialist in the galaxy, Dr. Nero Nusode. He designed these specifically for my foot, and now my feet are super happy. Yeah, no more pain. They are super happy. I've been pain free for a long, long, long time, y'all. You know what I mean? So if you're in the Frisco, Dallas, Texas area, go see the best of the best, the best in the galaxy, Dr. Nero Nusode, and let him see you. Because I tell y'all, man, I didn't, I don't, I don't even need surgery. He told me I need to wear better shoes, which I do. Of course, the bottles for wear line now. Then he also told me you need these custom orthotics and do a few stretches and exercises. And next thing you know, I've been pain free for it's going on nine, eight to nine years now. I don't, I don't feel anything anymore, man. There's sometimes I even forget to do these exercises I'm supposed to do, and my foot still feel great. So no more pain. So go see Dr. Naruto so there. And that's anadelcenter.com, y'all. That's anadelcenter.com. If you're in the Frisco, Dallas, Texas area or surrounding cities, that's anadelcenter.com for y'all. Anadelcenter.com, y'all. All right. Running faster than I've ever run in my life. He's faster than a speeding bullet. How is it possible I can do these things? I think it's time, Martha. All right, y'all. We're getting into this podcast. I've waited a good minute to get to this. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about this Superman, the Man of Steel, man, and the things that I'm going to focus on because I know I'm going to forget to show y'all this drawing. But check this out. Yeah, it's quite popular. You know what I mean? On the website, when I go to Comic Expos. You know what I mean? But that's Superman right there. Available on SamVision.com, the poster. So if you want a poster, definitely available. And just so you can show y'all we ain't playing no games, I'm going to show you the poster over here. And then we're going to get right to the Man of Steel, man. Because I have been, I know a lot of y'all been waiting a good minute for me to get to this dude. Man, I ain't never seen some people telling me how much I need to get to somebody. I'm like, ah, I'll get to him when I can. But here we are, man. Man of Steel. One of DC's greatest characters. Check this out. Yeah, that's right. Poster available on sunvision.com. So get your copy today on sunvision.com, man, and put that thing on your wall. So y'all, the man of steel, Superman himself, the things that I'm going to focus on, you know, I'm going to focus on his origins, his history, his powers, the comics, animation, and movies, of course, because there's a whole bunch of everything. You know what I mean? Before we get this party started, man, Superman, let's focus on his origins, the origins. He was created by two great creators. Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. That's Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. In um, and he first appeared in the first comics, Action Comics number one, um, in nineteen um, excuse me. So Superman is a superhero who appears in American comics published by DC Comics. Right, the character was created by writer Jerry Siegel and artist Joe Shuster, and debuted in the comic Action Comics no and debuted in the comic book Action Comics number one. June 1938 and was published April 18th, 1938. Totally crazy, man. Um, Superman has been adapted 
in a number of different medias. Um, of course, Superman, uh, alias, real name, his, his Krypton name is Kal-El, but his Earth name is Clark Kent, right? And so Superman was born on Krypton, of course. He lands on Earth, as you know. The story, his parents, I'm going to tell it the way everybody knows it, but I'm still going to throw a little flavor to it. His parents, Jarrell. And his mother, they send him to planet Earth because the uh, Krypton is about to explode. That's what they're going to show. That story seems similar because the Thundercats went through the same nonsense. And then, of course, Superman gets sent to Earth by his father and his mother. He crashes on Earth. He lands on Kansas, in Kansas, Missouri. His, his, his parents, um, um, Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent, adopt him right from a baby. So they didn't know he was. He had superpowers. But as he got older, his power starts to shit, his show off. And so when his parents send him off, Jarrell sends him from Krypton, which explodes a minute, like probably five minutes after he the ship is 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 he sent off in the in the in the in the spaceship. Man, that thing explodes, man. So Superman lands on Earth. He doesn't know nobody, but lucky for him, he lands with Martha Kent and and Jonathan Kent. They raise him as they own. Um, but and then he has takes off a new name, named Clark Kent, which is his Earth name. And then, um, and then Clark began developing various super many human abilities. Such as incredible strength and impervious skin. His adoptive parents uh, advised him to use his powers f for the benefit of humanity, and he decided to fight crime as a vigilante. To protect his personal life, he changes his, into his colorful costume and uses the alias Superman when fighting crime. Clark resides in fictional American city. He resides in Metropolis, of course. Who wait? He meets Lois Lane, uh, who eventually becomes the love interest of his life. Um, he becomes a journalist at the Daily Planet. Yeah, this man's trying to get his, uh, his journalism on. And Superman, um, around his life, so when he gets to Metropolis, he's still coming back and forth between Metropolis and Kansas, right? Uh, 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 Smallville, which is where he's based in, where he lands in. And so as he's growing into this character, this eventually to become one of the greatest superheroes ever. I mean, there's some that consider Superman the greatest hero ever. I don't, but I'm still going to give him respect because them, them, that dude got some cool powers, right? And so when Jerry Siegel and, um, and, uh, and Joe Schuster create this character, Jerry Siegel being the writer, Joe Schuster being the artist, DC Comics comes into the picture. They buy the character from him, from them. For how much? I do not know. I don't know. So it's been rumored maybe back in that time it was like for $200, which was a lot of money back then. But then, you know, nowadays with definitely with everything, the litigations, all that stuff, if you ever notice in the credits that they always say, Superman appears courtesy of the uh, Siegel family and the Schuster family out of respect because they got to pay respect to the legal part, but also to respect the fact that they're just the creators, right? And so once Superman is uh, is on Earth, he's learning how to be on Earth. Um, he's like trying to blend in. I mean, he can't play football because <laughs> he's too darn fast. He can't do wrestling because he's too damn strong. Um, he can't do swimming. So, you know, he has to kind of like just be normal as possible. But then as he's getting into his teenage years, he's realizing normal is literally impossible because this dude can leap buildings. He's super strong. He can pick a tractor up with one finger. You know what I'm saying? He's on the farm just doing work like a hundred times as faster than his dad. Um, this guy is starting to see his powers. He can fly. He's got heat vision. He's got, which I'm going to get into later. But this is origin story. And so he, he moves from Smallville, Kansas to Metropolis where he becomes a reporter, Clark Kent. And everybody knows him as Clark Kent, but what they don't know, he's also Superman too, right? And I guess eventually down the line, eventually tells Lois Lane that he's Superman. And she's like, so she's in love with Superman, but she, shouldn't know, she doesn't know she's actually kissing Clark Kent, which is a trip, man. But that's a whole nother whatever down the line. That's a whole nother story down the line, right? So as a journalist, he's, he's joining forces with Lois Lane on the Daily Planet. Their boss is Perry White. He's the chief editor. Of course, they have the Daily Planet photographer, this kid named Jimmy Olsen. And then some of the stuff that he had to deal with, some of the great enemies he had to fight, Brainiac, D General Zod, Darkseid. Uh, his arch name is, of course, Lex Luthor, who gets on my dog on. I can't stand Lex Luthor, but I got to talk about him, right? So, you know, General Zod, of course, as you know, comes from Krypton himself. He gets really sent into the, uh, uh, the, the uh, negative zone to get captured and not realize he thought he was going to be stuck there forever till he gets free. And when he gets free, man, he creates chaos on Earth. So then Superman now, as a champion of Earth, has to defend it. But he has to defend it without letting anybody know he's, who he is. So... That's Superman. He's Clark Kent. He's, he, he, he gets, um, he gets, uh, he gets, uh, he, he finally gets Metropolis. And, and that's where his powers 
become used a lot. And as you can see in the phone booth, yes, he does the phone booth thing where he's just, you know what I'm saying? And he does the Superman things, you know, flipping buildings. I mean, just, I remember the first 1978 movie with the great, the late, great Christopher Reeve, rest in peace. Man, when he caught the helicopter falling, I was like, what the hell is this? If you've never seen it, you got to watch it because that's the first, I'm going to talk about it online, but that's, this is all part of this origin of Superman. Like his origin is, um, it comes from loss. It comes from hope. Um, it comes from parents wanting to see him become the. He's the last. He's the last son of Krypton. He's pretty much aside from Supergirl and General Zod. He's pretty much. They are pretty much the last of the Kryptonians, right? And except except for Icon, of course, which we're going to talk about later on another time. But Superman comes to Earth. Now he has to adapt Earth as place. Excuse me, as his new home, and he has to learn to live in it. Be ordinary, but extra extraordinary too at the same time. So you know that's the origin of Superman, from Krypton to Earth to Kansas, Missouri, Smallville, Kansas to Metropolis, to becoming one of the greatest superheroes you've ever you've ever known. From 1938, this dude's been around since 1938. According to age of it, I believe he's 85 years old, if I'm not mistaken. I believe Superman is supposed to be 85 years old this year or something like that. Is what I've been reading about. 85 years old. The character itself is 85 years old. So much props to Jerry Siegel, the great writer, and Joe Schuster, a great artist, creating this amazing character. So that's the only But are you sure you understand? I mean, this is serious. I know. I, I guess the shock just hasn't set in yet. If you hear anything else, give us a jingle. Bye now. Well, this is a fine mess. It's not like he's really dead, Martha. He just can't be Clark anymore. But I am Clark. I need to be Clark. I'd go crazy if I had to be Superman all the time. There must be some way to bring back our boy. I don't see how. Not with an eyewitness and all. And don't forget, there's someone else to consider. Pa was right. I still had to help Walker. I couldn't let his friends... Superman. Now, next up is the history. The history of Superman is like... Okay, he gets to Metropolis. This is where his life really takes a different path. Like, because he has to become a hero, not just for Metropolis, but a hero for the entire planet. So he's going against enemies such as Brainiac, General Zod, Darkseid, Lex Luthor. Oh my God, the list is endless. Um, shoot. Sinestro, who from the Green Lantern Corps. Um, um, he fights himself. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh my God. Um, Bizarro. Um... Who else am I thinking about? Doomsday. Um, this guy has to learn how to use his power. So when he arrives in Metropolis, he's kind of trying to ingratiate himself into the Daily Planet, right? Because now he's this current, he's this journalist, Clark Kent. And he has to learn how to beat Clark Kent most of the time and then become Superman half the time. So you see, whether it's in the movies, the animated movies, or even the TV shows, like the ones we're watching now. Um, speaking of TV shows, shoot, I better write that down. Are you kidding me? TV shows. Oh my God, TV shows. Yeah, I got to write that down. TV shows like Lewis and Superman and Lewis or the other various TV shows coming in the, in the, in the future in the, in the, in from in the future. Um, you know, he's he's learning to live in the metropolis. He's learning to be normal and still integrate himself and trying to figure out where he belongs. Right. And so from joining forces with the Justice League to being an individual superhero in metropolis, you know, whether it's dealing with Batman, Flash, Green Lantern, all, all the other Wonder Woman. Martian Manhunter, Hawkgirl, you know, these are all superheroes that uh, he's, um, Green Lantern, John Stewart, these are all superheroes that he's trying to ingratiate with, and he comes to realize that he's not the only superhero on Earth, but he's still perhaps the strongest superhero on Earth, right? And so he's over here, like, fighting, um, Metropolis is always on the, and somehow Lois Lane is always in trouble, and he's got to save her, because she's, she's just known for just being independent and going off on her own and we're doing it all on her own, which is insane. And sometimes find himself in the middle of a thing trying to save. If it's not using freeze breath, using heat vision. I mean, he starts to realize that, okay, if I'm going to defend a metropolis, I have to be Clark Kent, but nobody can know I'm Clark Kent. Nobody can know I'm Superman. Very few. Only his mother, at first, only his mother and father, Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent, know he's Superman. But then as he goes, as Lewis Lane becomes love interest, he has to tell her, look, I'm Superman. This is why I'm always disappearing because his Superman ways were starting to become to affect their relationship. She was like, where did you go? And he would come up with these crazy lies. And he, the lies would be like, she'd have this look on her face like, what? Do, do I look like an idiot? Then after a while, man, he kind of had to... Because in the cartoon, they always made it look as if she believed him. But then if you watch a TV show, she's looking at him like, what? 
You know, so when when he's uh as he's growing as Superman, he's like, okay, I gotta stop telling her the truth. So he tells her the truth. Then she realizes, okay, I guess she can still be as reckless, but not as reckless. And so if you wear this a TV show, where there's the movies, you start to see right Superman's history is not just in the comics, but it's in the in in the way like his history is like sort of like where he's trying to fit in the city, but also too his history is also like I feel like the movies, the stuff that DC has done with him hasn't done him justice as a character i'm just gonna be frank about that because when you compare him to batman like it's night and day like he can't even touch batman in terms of being a character it's like almost like they try to force feed superman down our throats but it's not working because the way you you interpret him to us inter interpret him to us the way you present him to us is like it sucks like you have a character who can do all these multiple amazing things and yet the best dc can do is all these corny movies they keep making even look at as we now even the last Superman Man of Steel was a good movie, but then they had to drop Dawn of Justice and that was just trash. But I'm gonna get into the next talk about movies later. But Superman's history is like you got a character comes from a planet, his planet dies. He's got to figure out how he can coexist within a, a place that doesn't understand him. And there are those who love him on Earth and the people that hate his guts too because they're threatened by what he can do and what he is and how he is on, which is not uncommon. Humans hating each other's guts soon. Hmm, what else is new about that? But now this guy's got superpowers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's invulnerable, he's literally invincible except, except to magic. And so he's learning to live in the metropolis. He's saving the day, but he's still going back and forth between metropolis and, uh, and Smallville to see his parents. And, and you know, in order to feel normal, he has to go home to Kansas all the time just to feel normal, which would be totally understandable because if you're a superhuman being, you have nobody else on the planet who can relate to you except for those who are other superhuman beings as well themselves. So, you know, he's able to, like, have a professional career and actually be a great journalist, actually. That's the funny part about him balancing Clark Kent and him balancing himself as Superman. Him being Clark Kent is actually just as important as him being Superman because Clark Kent gives him that that tether towards the earth, towards just normalism, if that's a word, and making him like just a normal guy every day wearing a suit, wearing a bucket hat or whatever you want to call that hat and a trench coat jacket, and those got the camera in his hand. And he's actually a very good journalist because he's always breaking stories before Lewis does. And she's always wondering, how did he break the story? Huh, I wonder how he breaks it because he's Superman. You know what I mean? But that's his history, man. A guy who's learning to be part of the earth and still save it too. While being feared by the earth because the the, the the governments of the earth are like, well, we want to have you under our tether, under our command. He's like, hell no, I'm not taking the orders for you. So, you know, just like in Man of Steel, you saw him getting arrested by General. You look at him like, are you for real? You guys are holding this dude with a shock. Is that really going to hold him? No. So, you know, and the one thing we know about that S on his chest, it means hope. And I never even knew that till I watched Man of Steel. Um, but then the great thing is, as he's on earth, the voice of his father, Jarrell, is within the computer system. Um... Then he has to deal with within the computer system put on that we in the computer system of the ship that he was brought to, and then he is, he is, and, is it, and it can go to this solid fortress of solitude to read up on the history, which was pretty cool actually. I still think fortress of solitude is one of the best superhero bases you can think of, or whatever. Bat cave, uh, the thunder, the thunder cast layer, of course. My card of Assassin Universe layer is sick as hell. I'm not telling you the name. You eventually gonna know the name when you come when the comic book comes out. But he's got one of the best fortresses ever. And Superman, um, um, you know, um, the solid for, solitude fortress of solitude is where he knows his history. He actually gets to discover a lot of different things about himself and what is how his people came to be. So that's the history of Superman, man. Next. I'm confused, Ken. See, I've lived in Metropolis most of my life, and I can't figure out how some Yoko from Smallville is suddenly getting every hot story in town. Well, Lois, the truth is I'm actually Superman in disguise, and I only pretend to be a journalist in order to hear about disasters as they happen and then squeeze you out of the byline. You're a sick man, Kent. You asked. Next up are his powers. And man, this dude has some powers. You know what I mean? This dude, um, um, 
You know, before I forget, before I move on to powers completely, some of the team affiliations there is just League, League of Superheroes, Superman Family, which is totally crazy. Then, of course, there's his partners that he's had in, in terms of the superhero world. Supergirl, his cousin, of course. Superboy, uh, a clone of himself. Batman, of course, a human. Wonder Woman, who's... Wonder Woman, who's both part of the Just League and I guess in different spectrums or different universes, they're also dating too, which is just creeps me out, man. You know what I mean? But that's Superman right there. Now, let's talk about his powers. And man, when I talk about this dude has powers, he has a whole bunch of powers. Flight, speed. He's as fast as Flash. And I don't know how fast. I'm pretty sure they're equal in speed. Freeze breath. Heat vision. Invincible. If that that's a power, that's actually being a power. Invincible. Um, oh my god. Uh shoot. Um what else am I thinking of? Now let's look, let's look at look, check this out. Superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, l longevity. Senses, longevity, senses, durability, heat vision, wind and freeze breath, solar energy absorption, x-ray vision, flight. So he can absorb the earth's, the sun's, the sun's rays. And when he does, it gives, it maximizes strength. So whenever he's weak and feels tired, you see him flying around and flying through the, uh, through the earth's core, through the earth's gravitational field. And he, he, he gets like super super charged up and boom it's on and proper now part of his powers is also from being from krypton is that his weakness is is kryptonite which are radioactive sh uh, shards from his planet from the explosion that fell in different parts of the galaxy and some of happened to land on earth which is you know superhero universe man stuff is always landing everywhere man and so whenever superman gets around kryptonite it's all she wrote and very many many super villains have used it, the kryptonite on him from lex luthor who is a scandalous individual to Doc, well, Darkseid never really used it because Darkseid could just straight give him that business with his hands. General Zod, of course, tried to use it. Brainiac tried to use it. Batman used it one time when they were fighting because Batman had to put on that iron suit and give Superman that whooping. And it was like, you know, that's how you saw Donald Justice. Um, but his powers are like unlike anything else, which makes him, which makes me to question some of the stuff that DC does with him. Like they make animated movies, but they don't make movies. You know, they don't treat him with the same allure that they treat him like they like they treat him like they treat Batman. Like Superman with all these cool powers, you would think that his uh his notoriety would be even more than Batman's, but I don't know, for some reason we just seem to veer towards Batman and Superman. I'll tell you what, I would like to see DC treat Superman the way they the way Marvel treats Captain America. Now that's the actual comp that I can think of. Captain America is the perfect comp because I did an episode on Captain America probably a, a, a while back, um, episode maybe uh, 160 or 161. But Captain America is actually what Superman should be treating, what DC should be treating Superman like. Because a lot of people relate to Captain America and they have the same color scheme, the same red and white and blue, you know. Um, but the problem is Superman's powers, they're not treating it like, they're not, they're thinking, well, because he can do everything, he's boring. No, actually, if you actually make Superman more interesting to people, his powers actually be sick as hell because he's actually fought. I remember in the in the uh, Marvel versus DC when he fought Hulk. I was so shocked he beat Hulk. Like that really shocked me. I know that he's freeze breath, superhuman strength, and all that stuff. I was like, what? You know what I mean? But Superman, like he's this good dude can do so much. Like if they could just take his powers and make it even more interesting, because usually. When you have a guy that can do all the stuff that Superman does, it's usually boring. But Superman isn't actually boring. But because if you actually see a lot of cartoons that he's been in, where it was Justice League Unlimited, Justice League, shoot, Superman Doomsday, you realize there's a vulnerability to him because that kryptonite makes him weak. And so even when he was fighting guys like uh, Darkseid or Amazo or um, General Zod or Doomsday, you realize he's not completely invincible. Man, his powers are super cool, but there's people that actually can give him that work. I remember when Doomsday killed him, which is what we're going to talk about here. I was like, damn, Doomsday is beating the mess out of this dude. This is unbelievable. You know what I mean? But Superman's powers are like, like, <laughs> they're pretty sick, man. When you can fly, when you got heat vision, you got x-ray vision, you got freeze breath, you got, you're invincible too. What can anybody do to you? That's probably why he's, I mean, some consider him the greatest superhero. I don't. But I think, like, the greatest superhero used to be Batman. Now the greatest superhero is Black Panther. And now, but Superman is in top five. He's probably top three. I, I, without that, I'm pretty sure you're going to go 
Batman or Black Panther, and then Superman number three. One way or another, he's going to be number three. I mean, this guy's powers are pretty sick, and I would like to see DC do a better job of, of showcasing those powers. I tell you what show I love watching all the time that really showcases powers really well. Superman and Lois on, on um, CW. Oh, my God. I'm going to get that down the line to that show, talk about it later. But, man, talk about his powers are super cool on that show. That, and I really began to really, really like Superman again because of the show. Because prior to that, man, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I couldn't stand Superman. I thought he was corny as hell. A dude that can do a bunch of stuff, but he's so corny. You know what I mean? But this show, Superman and Lois on, on, on CW, oh, my God. It's got it on point. His powers are legit. There's not too many superheroes that have as many powers as Superman. Like, literally, powers is what he has. You know, like they say one, they'll say somebody has one power, like on X-Men, you know, different mutant powers. But this guy actually has multiple powers. D this dude is incredible. You know what I mean? So, Superman's powers are off the chain, man. I mean, this is stuff like, I remember as a kid watching the dun 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 I mean, he's, 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 got, he's got his own theme and everything, man. But Superman's powers are definitely off the chain. Um, Next up is the comics. And man, talk about an abundance of comics. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, this is one of my Superman comics. For a guy who's not a big Superman fan, I sure I have one. Yeah, I, mean, I bought this a while back. I've had this for a while. Shoot, this is uh Yeah, this I, I bought this I bought this when it when it finally when it came when uh when it was available, I found it at a shop or something. I was like, yeah, let me I just gotta have it. This was made, this was 1996. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about a whole lot of comics that Superman has had. But this is Superman getting with the help of Spectra. You know what I'm saying? Um, Superman, the man is still in Spectra. This comic, I'm just going to show you all a little bit of it. Because I've, I've got plenty of it that I can show you all. But I'm going to show you. My hands are blocking everything. Sorry. Batman forever. Promotionals. There goes Superman again fighting Spectra. You know what I mean? I just have to show it to you all. Let you all see it. Man, you know, this dude is, check that out. I'm going to get to talking about these comics because you know that's what's up. Man, Superman's got the whole, he's one of the few characters with the entire gambit. Check this out, man. Let me show you some more. Green Lantern. Oh God, mm. Al Jordan, corny, mm. Spectra with the Batman promo. Yeah, Superman, this man's got God knows how many comics. I'm actually going to find out how many comics he's had because it seems like he's had a whole lot. I mean, the only person equal to him is Batman probably, man. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, but that's the Superman comics, man. You know what I mean? Um, The first comic, so let's go back to the comics. Okay, so he first... The first issue, he appeared in Action Comics number one, which was uh, de uh, cover dated June 1938 and was published in April 18th, 1938. That's when he was first created and that's when he first showed up by the comic. And then, so in 19, let me see, hold on y'all. Comics. Okay, so since 1938, Superman stories have regularly published in periodic comics published by DC Comics. The first and oldest of these is Action Comics, which began in April 1938. Um, Action Comics was initially an anthology magazine, but eventually became dedica dedicated to Superman stories, which was crazy because it was DC, 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 Superman, 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 Superman everywhere. The second oldest periodical is Superman, which began in June 1939. Action Comics and Superman have been published without interruption, ignoring changes to the title and numbering scheme. 
a number of other short-lived Superman priorities have been published over the years. Superman is part of Superman is part of DC Universe. He's been God knows how many comics. Superman has sold more comic books. Superman has sold more comic books over his publication history than any other American superhero character. Exact sale figures for these early decades of Superman comic books are hard to find because, like most publishers at the time, DC Comics concealed this, this data from its competitors and thereby the general public was well, well. But given the general market trends at the time, sales of action comics of Superman probably peaked in the mid 1940s and thereafter steadily declined. Yeah, the character, DC didn't do a good job of just promoting this guy. That's what I was talking about. They just did a horse crap job. DC, they. They always have something good and they always find a way to screw it up. They can't help themselves. Y'all ever notice whenever I'm talking about DC characters, I always get mad. You know what I'm saying? Sales Dallas first began in 1960. A lot of comics that this guy has been in is ridiculous. So, like, Sales Data first began in 1960 and showed that Superman was best-selling comic book character of the 1960s, 1970s. Sales rose again starting in the 1987 Superman number 75, November 1992, and sold over 20... 20 so... Superman number 75, 1992, sold over 23 million copies. That's ridiculous. Two times Diamond? Damn. Making it the best, making it the best selling issue of a comic book of all time. Thanks to media sensation over the uh, su supposedly permanent death of Superman, su permanent death of the character in the issue. Sales declined from the point on, on. Sales declined from that point on. In March 2018, Action Comics just sold 51,000. Wow, 534 copies, although such low figures are normal for superhero comic books in general. And comparison, amazing. So, like, because comics books got worse. But it's also too that the comics weren't doing as well because DC in general just find a way to screw it up. They don't know how to market great things. And, and they got to, they just stink it up all the time. And I don't know whether this demo is just because they joined first with Warner Brothers. But they stink up the show all the time. With a character like this, this character has over, God, so many comics books. Whereas comic books in 1950s, he was very popular in the 1960s and 70s. But that's what I'm talking about. The comics were popular, but then as it grew, it just got worse and worse and worse. Like the the um the storylines just they just kept on falling, man. So beginning January 1939, a Superman Daily comic strip appeared in newspapers syndicated through McClure Syndicate. A color Sunday version was added that Sunday. Jerry Siegel wrote most of the strips until he was conscripted in 1943 the sunday strips had a narrative continuous until it was conscripted because he had to join the military the sunday strips had a narrative continuity separate from the daily strips possibly because siegel had to dele delegate the sunday strips to ghost writers by 1941 the newspaper strips had estimated readership of 20 million joe schuster drew the early strips then passed the job to wayne boring from Joe, Joe Schuster drew the early strips of the comics, then passed the job to Wayne Boring. From 1949 to 1956, the newspaper strips were drawn by Wayne, Mort, 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 Tim, Mort, Wayne, Wayne Mortimer. The strip ended in 1966, but revived from 1977 to 1983 to co coincide with the series of movies released by Warner Brothers. Which is true, because the first Superman came out in 1978. See, this is the problem right here. So from 1956 to 1966... Right, so after 1966, there was a 10 year gap. They didn't come back to 1977. What made what made what made DC think it was a good idea to have a character this 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 important and let them have no kind of comic nothing? It's just oh, typical DC man. Um, initially, though, Siegel allowed allowed to write Superman more or less. He saw fit because nobody had anticipated the success and rapid expansion of the franchise. But soon, Siegel and Schuster's work was put under careful oversight for fear of trouble with. Sensors. Siegel was forced. Siegel was forced to tone down the violence and social crusading that characterized his early stories. Editor Whitney Hellsworth hired 1940, dedicated Superman, dedicated that Superman not kill. Sexuality was banned, and colorfully outlandish villains such as Ultra Humanites and Toy Man were thought to be less nightmarish to young <laughs> to young readers. And <laughs> You know, it's crazy. These comic books, they were just gruesome back then. Because back then, they actually called them um, uh, graphic novels. Which means you could pretty much show up. Because they could showcase any kind of any kind of anything they want up, up in there. I'm going to let y'all try to understand that one right there. You know what I mean? But Superman comics are... These guys had so many comic books. Um, um, you know, like... So then, let me see here. Um, the, the comics talk about... 
um, the characters that he faced too as well. Elements such as Bizarro, his cousin Supergirl, Phantom Zone, under Winshiger were, were beguiling to devoted readers but alienating casuals. So I guess Superman went through idea phases with these comic books. And it was an up and down seesaw type of thing. It's Even now to today, it's still up and down seesaw type of thing with, with Superman. I don't understand how you can have such a great character. A Hall of Fame level character, but you don't know how to use him. But you got Superman right there. I, I, I mean, you got Batman right there. Like, DC, figure it out, man. Y'all y'all some idiots sometimes. Y'all don't think at all. Y'all just do any dumb stuff that comes to your head. You don't plan anything out. Like, stop planning stuff out. A character this cool. The last thing you've gotten right is probably the Superman and Lois TV show. That's real talk right there. But these comic books, I've got one comic book. But most people now, even in terms of comics, nobody's really buying Superman comics. People, my generation of people, all we're watching is animation of movies. We're not really interested in comic books anymore. Comic books are not moving like that. So the glory that Superman had in 1970, in the 60s and 70s, he ain't seen ever since. Not that high and peak. Not even the movies, man. Even when, not, not, I'm going to get to that later. But then the peaks of the comic books died around 1966. So to sell 23 million copies in 1992, which was totally unheard of, which is insane. 23 million copies. That's just nuts. Number Superman number 75. 23 million copies. That's insane, man. So, you know, that's the comic books right there. Next. Next up is my favorite part. The animation. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's what's up. We got all kinds of animation. Superman, Doomsday right here. Now, you're wondering what this is about. This right here. Look, I still got the receipt. Yeah, I, I keep my receipts, man. Oh, my God. I bought this. Ooh, man. I love having my sick receipts. I need to bust out my DVD player and watch this thing, man. You know what I mean? Superman, Doomsday. This is the one where Superman gets killed. And he has to come back as a different type of Superman. Doomsday comes to Earth and gives him that work, man. There's so many animations. Superman has had God knows how many animations. Then, of course, he's part of the whole Justice League and Justice League Unlimited family, right? You know what I mean? Right there. Season 1 and Season 2. Then, of course, he's part of Justice League, which went for three seasons, I believe. Then he's also part of um, uh, Superman Animated Series 1996, which was how I really got introduced to Superman. It's an episode. It's a series that came out in 1996. I think it was three seasons. Let me check this out real quick, y'all. I'm, I'm about to find out how many... What, what the... Uh, when the animation series, how long it was. It was three seasons. I knew it was three seasons. Uh, give me a second, y'all. We're going to do some research up in here. Superman, the animated series. Superman, the animated series. Yep, it sure was. Starring Tim Daly as the voice of Superman. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Clancy Brown was the voice of Lex Luthor. That doesn't shock me. What a great actor. Uh, let's see. It was... Uh, let me go back. Let me go back. So the first... It was... Okay, so Superman, the anime series. Uh, the American animated series of television was based on DC Comics character Superman. It was produced by Warner Brothers Animation, of course. And originally aired on Kids WB. September 6, 1996 to February 12, 2000. So it went for four, almost four years. It was the second series in the DC Animated Universe after Batman the Animated Series. Batman, oh, the Animated was so off the chain. And like its predecessor, it has been acclaimed for its writing, voice acting, maturity, and modernization of the title character's comic mythologies. So Captain, Captain, like he had multiple people guest stars on there. Members of the Justice League. Um, 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 Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern. Was there Hawkman in it? Um, he also, he was part of the Justice League Unlimited series. He had Joker, Doomsday, I mean, excuse me, Dark Side, um, Metallo. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, oh, my God. And then, of course, it was produced by Bruce Trim and uh, Alan Barnett. I remember that, right? And, of course, the character was created by Joe Siegel and Joe Schuster. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. And then the voices for the animated series, because that's the biggest one. By himself. I don't remember any of the Superman animated series since 2000. That is crazy. So you're telling me that Superman hasn't had an animated series. Animated series. Whereas Batman's had God knows how many. See, this is why DC, y'all suck, man. 
You have a character this cool and he's only had one animated series, really? 1996 to 2000? So the voices of this animated series, because I loved this cartoon, it was amazing. Tim Daly is Superman, Diane, Dana Lani, David Kaufman, um, um, George Dusanta, Du Zandas, Clancy Brown as Lex Luthor, Curry Burton, Michael Ironside. Um, let's see. I mean, dude, it was an, it was it was great. It was a great four seasons of awesomeness. It ran, dude. It was such a great show. Like, if you've never seen Superman the Anime series, went from nineteen ninety six to two thousand. You got to go watch it. It was amazing. Um, like, you got to see the build of the character. You got to see him grow up from. You got to see him from the beginning, from when he was in Smallville all the way to Metropolis, all the way to fighting Dark Side in uh, Ap 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 Apocalypse. It was just an amazing animated series, man. And then there's been different ones. Thing th that he's also been part of too. The many, the many, the many animated movies. Uh, I'm watching one right now. Justice League War World. Uh, Justice League uh, uh, um, Doom. Um, Justice League War. Um, Justice League Atlantis. Justice League. God, there's been so many animated movies. It's not even funny. But the one that's really sad is the fact that he's only had one, just one, one animated series. DC, y'all should be embarrassed and ashamed of yourselves that your second, you're supposed to be your second greatest character. Is only had one animated series. That is embarrassing. Since 2000, that's 24 years ago, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Animated movies ain't gonna suffice. You gotta give the people what they want. But for what I understand, though, there's now a new animated series coming out. Superman and Me or something like that. I'm trying to think of uh, what the name... Uh, there's some kind of animated series coming out. Um, it's called... Uh, Yo, Superman, some some kind of animated series, Superman cartoons. I'm gonna type in Superman cartoons see what we find. I I just know that Superman cartoons are coming out. I mean, you had some back in the day, like, but it wasn't. There was even a Superman animated series from the 1940s, but nothing is ever gonna touch. I mean, there's been stuff. It's just like being corny, to be honest with y'all. Um. No, yeah, I, I, it's, dude, it's, this is the worst, like, this guy, Superman, he hasn't been done justice, man, I mean, you got to be kidding me, yeah, you, you, you gotta, there hasn't been enough animated series, there's been a bunch, but nothing, Crypt, I mean, dude, like, I list, I can lift off stuff, like, that Superman's been a part of, Crypto, the Super Dog, uh, Legion of Superheroes, uh, Justice League Action, uh, Justice League Unlimited, of course, Young Justice, uh, Super Superman, Super, Super Super Friends, which was the 1960s cartoon. Y'all know about that one. Uh, the New Adventures of Superman cartoons. Y'all remember that? Uh, Ruby Spears, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited. Y'all know about that one. Fresher Superman animated shorts. Um, Superman the Animated Series, of course, B B which was the best one. God, it was so good. It was so good, y'all. And when we talk about animation, I got to show you all that. So, I'm about to show you all Superman the Animated Series from 1996, which is the best one, of course. See, okay, so here we go. I'm going to play for y'all. I told y'all, it was so damn good. <laughs> I told y'all, the intro is all I can show y'all, but the intro is off the chain. Uh, but I'm going to show you other stuff, too. I'm going to fit it in there. But, you know, Superman the Animated Series was off the chain. The animation itself has been great. What's been bad is... How they've used it and how they've done it. I just wish, I just wish they would do an actual anime series dedicated to him, not where he's joining team members or he's part of a team. No, give him the same thing like how Batman has it. How Batman had the animated series. How Batman has the Batman. Um, and then Batman had Batman Beware. Uh, Batman Beyond. I mean, God, Batman's endless list of animations is insane. How come Superman doesn't have that? Dude, you could have so much storyline. Dark Side, Brainiac, General Zod, Doomsday. Um, God, the list is endless. Can you guys just get with this dude and fix this animation hot mess? Superman, I'm actually starting to like Superman a lot, mainly because of the TV show. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's mainly why I'm digging the Superman stuff. So, you know, the endless cartoon Superman is being a part. So that's the animation.
more powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. And now, another exciting episode in the adventure of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. Next up is the TV shows. And man, there's been a bunch of Superman TV shows. Without question, there's been a bunch of Superman TV shows. Like the works one I'm watching right now on, is on, um, um, on, um, on CW. Uh, uh, Superman and Lois. Oh my God, that show. There was also one. So these are the ones I'm going to mention. TV shows. Superman, 1952. Dude, when I talk about shows, you... Oh my God, there's been a... Smallville. Um... um um, Lewis and Clark, 1993 to 1997. Uh, um, Superman, 1952. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, shoot, Smallville, 2001 to 2011. Um, let me see here. Um, I'm trying to think what other TV shows. Uh, and then The Adventures of Superman, 1952 to 1958. So it went for six seasons, starring George the Great, starring George Reeves. Um, um, 1988, uh, Superman franchise, Superman series uh, based on new Superman again, 1988, 1988. And then there was another one, which, which was, uh, Lewis and Clark, which starred Dean Cain and Tori Hatcher, which was in from the 1993 to 1997. Dude, this thing has had so many shows. It's not even funny, man. Like, you know what I mean? It, it, it was like, but the best one I've loved so far is the one that's now Superman, Superman and Lewis. That right there has been the best TV show of all. I don't care what anybody says. Superman, let me see, and uh, Lewis. Yep, this has been the best one so far. So Superman is played by Tyler Hutchkin and Betsy Touch. Dude, this show is so damn good. It's not even funny. Like I literally feel like I'm watching a superhero movie every single episode it's so damn good three seasons of total awesomeness like it it would i remember i did an episode back on my top 10 uh my top 10 uh superhero tv shows at that time when i did it i didn't know the show was gonna be this good dude if i do my top 10 superhero tv shows again it's gonna make it dude this show is so good this show is so good that i wish they could take the entire cast and use them to make the movie now that would be off the chain this is how good this show is um it's dude, it's it's sick as hell, man. You you you, the season one you you get to introduce he gets introduced to us. Um, his I'm not gonna talk about the story. I'm not gonna ruin for anybody. So you need to go watch it. If you have CW available to you, you can watch all three seasons. Or if you have a DVD or whatever you can get, but you can, you can get to watch Superman and Lewis. It's such an it's literally watching a a movie every single episode. It is crazy good. It is so good. I mean, in fact, in fact, you know, um. It's one of those like that you... I got to show you a snippet of, of Superman and Lewis. I got to show it to you. So here, here we go. Wait, I'm going to show it to y'all. I told y'all, it's super good. It's so it's so off the chain. Like, if you've never seen it, please go watch it. I'm not going to ruin it for you. I need you to go see it yourself. I haven't seen any Superman show that I like that much. And I never liked Superman. But this show, oh my God, it's so good. This is why I can't understand how DC keeps messing up the show with this guy. 
He is too good for you to be screwing up like this. Like, get your mind right and get the show and get things built around him. Take this entire cast on this TV show and put them in a movie. Put them in a movie. Just put them in a movie and I promise you this, the movie's going to be sick as I don't know what. Sick as hell, man. So, TV shows, man. As far as TV shows, I don't think very... I think very few superheroes have actually very good shows like this. Like, Green Arrow was good. Arrow was good. Flash was good. Supergirl was good. Of course, Black Lightning was good. But Superman right here, man, this thing is... Woo, it's off the chain. And um, hopefully it can go as long as Arrow and, and Flash went. Because they went nine seasons. So Superman got to at least keep it up with those cats. Because, you know, they screwed over Supergirl. And they screwed over Black Lightning. Supergirl got six seasons. Black Lightning got four. You, I mean, if you got to do Superman justice. I mean, you are saying that he's your best superhero. You got to have him at least go nine seasons. DC Comics, Warner Brothers. Try not to screw it up. Because I know that's what y'all do best. Screwing cool stuff up. You know what I mean? But this TV show, oh my God, it's so sick. Go watch, go watch, go watch the TV shows. This TV show specifically. I'm not sure people that grew up in the 50s, those who grew up in the 90s, they probably like, hey, tell you that Lois and Clark was the best Superman TV show. Nostalgia comes into play, man. There's no doubt about that. But this show right here, Superman and Lois, off the chain good. It started in 2021. All three seasons. Let me break it down episode by episode. What we've had, uh, shoot. I'm trying to think how, how to even tell y'all. It's had... Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think. I know you've, each episode, each season has been 13 episodes. That much I can tell you. Um, each season has been 13 episodes. Each season has been 13 episodes so far. Um, Let's see here. I'm looking, y'all. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to look, y'all. Give me a second. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see. They ain't show me no episodes info, so we're gonna have to. I'm going to leave it be. You know? But, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. These episodes are off the chain. This show is so good. Okay, let's see. I like to remember is the last one is uh, the last episode of season three, which was called What Kills You Only Makes You Stronger. It was it was the last episode where Doomsday and Superman were going at it. And let me tell y'all, they was going at it. You know what I'm saying? So, TV shows have been good. Specifically, this one. I don't know. I guess that might be the only thing that Superman in the Superman franchise they've done well. The animated series and the TV shows. You know what I mean? Saying, but this particular TV show, Superman and Lewis. Oh my God! What? Let me see here. I'm trying to read about stuff. Uh, wow. I'm guessing I'm hearing rumors about this might be the final season for this show. Are you serious? A, a lousy four seasons? You got to be kidding me, man. Are you serious? This didn't even go half as long as Flash and Arrow. Well, you know, can't put anything past DC and CW and WB, man. They always doing dumb stuff, but hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It just make me, they make me want to throw up, man. I can't stand them. God, I can't stand them. You know what I mean? But yo, that's the TV shows right there, yo. Here, 
you're shooting that. No, we've seen Superman before. We've seen him. You told the boys you're Superman. Couldn't lie to them anymore. This is gonna keep my family together. Clark, it's gonna tear it apart. All the times you were gone, you lied to me. You both did. I can't just abandon the world. The world will always need Superman. Right now, this family needs you more. Superman and Lois, two-hour premiere event, Tuesday, February 23rd. Stream free next day, only on CW. little incident hasn't put you offline, miss. Statistically speaking, of course, it's still the safest way to travel. Right. Wait! Who are you? A friend. Next up is the movies. Ooh, and there has been a whole bunch, starting from 1978 with the great Christopher Reeve, Superman. Um, you know what? Let me let me go back. I mean, there's been a bunch. Superman, Man of Steel, Superman, Superman Quest for Peace. Uh, uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm going to Superman movies. Shoot. I'm going to type that in because I don't want to miss the order. It's going to be hard to keep. Okay, so here we go. Superman in 1978. Superman 2, 1980. Superman 3, uh... Uh, 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 still starring Christopher Reeve, 1983. Superman 4, Quest for Peace, 1987. Superman Returns in 2006, which is starring Brandon. Brandon. And then, um, uh, um, uh, Man of Steel, which, which came out in 2012. No, is that 20? Man of Steel starring, um, um, oh my god, I've forgotten this man's name. Are you serious? Um, Let me see. Starring Henry Cavill, excuse me, as Man of as Superman and, and Man of Steel. Man of yeah, Man of Steel. That was super good. That by far might have been the best Superman movie I've ever seen. Um, of course, there's nostalgia to the one that starred Christopher Reeve in 1978. There has to be because that's what got the whole thing jumped off. And then in Superman two, it was it was fighting General Zod, who came around with the other minions as well. And then Superman three. He was fighting like a like a uh, like a like a like a robot type of thing, and then Superman Four Quest for Peace, he had Richard Pryor in it, which was totally sick as hell having Richard Pryor. And then Superman Four, he comes back, but now I mean Superman returns in two thousand six, but now he's a he's like a uh, 
he comes back from like being away, but he has a child with Lois Lane, which was really making me laugh. So they basically turned Superman into a baby daddy. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, and Kate Bosworth plays Lois Lane in that one. Brandon Roth plays a uh, Superman, of course. And then Lex Luthor is played by uh, um, um, Kevin Spacey. James Madison plays Richard White. But the best Superman that I've seen so far, and then Kitty Kowalski plays Parker Posey. Um, but the best Superman that I've seen so far was uh, was the Man of Steel. That, that, that <laughs> now the Christopher Reeves Superman. Let's let's break that down because that's that's nostalgia right there for real. So Christopher Reeves plays Superman. Clark Kent, that's Clark Kent as well. Rest in peace. Marlon Brando plays Jor El. Rest in peace, Marlon Brando. Uh, Gene Hackman plays Lex Luthor. Uh, Margaret Kilder plays Lois Lane. Valerie Prennery plays Eve Murchies. And then Glenn Ford plays Jonathan Kett. I mean, you had a lot of... Uh, I mean, you had a lot of greatness in the movie. And for a superhero movie back then, they weren't really popping off like that. But I think Superman was such a great character because you have to understand, the last thing you saw about Superman was the comics from 19, 1966. And then there was a 10-year gap, which was totally ridiculous. But this is what you call mismanagement when... When, a, when an organization just doesn't know how to use a character. I think that's the problem. They don't know how to use the character. That's always been the problem. Then, of course, Superman 2, you know what I'm saying, which was the second one. Christopher Reeve again, the late, great Christopher Reeve. Uh, still in, still having Margaret Kilder there as well. Sarah Douglas. Gene Hackman there as, as Lex Luthor. Uh, Terrence Stapp as General Zod. You know what I'm saying? It was just, oh, my God, off the chain. And then Superman 3. Yeah, Superman 3, that was off the chain right there. All right, the late great Christopher Reeve, the great Richard Pryor, late great Chris, Chris, Richard Pryor, who plays Gus Gorman, who's a, like a tech wizard dude who knows everything about technology. Totally cool. That was totally awesome because there wasn't too many brothers playing the techie guys like that. Not too many brilliant brothers. So I was so happy about that. Playing a great computer program who could, who helped to create the robot like that was going to defeat Superman. And then Margaret Kudler played Lois Lane. Pamela Stevenson played L'Oreal. And then uh, Annette O'Toole played Lana Lang. Um, man, this show was... Oh my God! And then Jackie Cooper played Terry White. Perry White, excuse me. Um, yeah, rest in peace, man. Jackie Cooper. Um, yeah, it was like a a, a whole lot of uh, uh, dude. It was these 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 the nostalgia of these movies are off the chain. Then of course Superman Four: Quest for Peace. Right? So Christopher Reeve plays Superman again. Mark Pillow plays uh, Nuclear Man. He's basically super counter. It's like the counter of Superman. Of Superman, basically. Uh, Jack, Gene Hackman plays Lex Luthor, of course. And John Cryer plays Lex, Lenny Luthor. Margaret Kilder plays Lois Lane. And then Murrell Hemingway plays Lacey Warfield. I mean, dude, like, they just, Superman just kept on going. But then when it, it was like a, man, that was like a, so 1997. Yeah, it was damn there 20 year gap, 21 year gap before they saw another Superman. And there's really no excuse for, for this hot mess that, that, that was. So that's when Superman Returns came. And then after that, it was another gap again, another 10, 12 year gap. Let me see. Man of Steel was, uh, man, Man of Steel. Yeah, Man of Steel was in 2013. So it's like a seven-year gap. It's ridiculous. But this one starred uh, Henry Calville as Superman. Diane Lane was playing Martha Kent. Russell Crowe played Jarrell. Uh, Kevin Costner played Jonathan Kent. Uh, Michael Sheldon played General Zod. And then Ayet Zara played uh, Laura. Um, there were some cool villains up in here, man. Let me tell you. And then Jura played Fora. And then Lawrence Fishman was Perry White. So, like, it was... To and then, of course, uh, Harry Lennox plays Calvin Sandwick. But I'm starting to figure out maybe he's also going to be Martian Manhunter. But you know, these movies have been amazing. The space between between when between them is the problem. Like there's too much time lapses in between them. So you know, but that's Superman. This guy is an amazing character. I and then of course they dropped the Dawn of Justice, and we ain't going to talk about that because that was him versus Batman. And I just man, that movie made me want to throw up. Man, we ain't going to talk about that. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I just. Anybody that was a Superman fan was totally disgusted with that movie. But when I were coming out another movie, because we saw at the end of Black Adam where Superman shows up 
and he's looking at Black Adam like, we gonna do something? And Black Adam was like, yeah, you, you ain't finna do nothing. So I'm looking forward to that, but hopefully they can get right with this Superman business because another Superman movie needs to come out. It's, for God's sake, it's been 20, Dawn of Justice, let me see what Dawn of Justice, and then of course, it's different, different movies. Well, not different movies, if you consider Justice League a different movie. That movie was, oh my God. Woo, that was not awesome. If you're a fan of DC Comics, you were looking at DC like, y'all really made this movie? I remember it being in theaters like, what was I thinking? I was so mad. I was just like, no. They went from Dawn of Justice to this. So back-to-back -back sorry movies. Basically what DC did with anything to do with Superman. You guys got to get on, get on your get right, DC. Come on, man. You keep messing this character up. Can y'all please, for God's sake, get your mind right? You know what I mean? But Superman is an amazing character for movies. Let me see Dawn of Justice. Now, now I just, now I just gotta look. Batman vs Superman. Yep, that was 2016. Damn, that's a uh, shoot. That's going on almost. Uh, that's eight years is going now, man. You know what I mean? So in that movie, it had Ben Affleck playing Batman, Henry Cavill playing Superman, uh, Jesse Ainsberg playing Lex Luthor, Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman, uh, Jeremy Irons playing Alfred Pennyworth. You know, it's just, it wasn't that good. And I'm not gonna waste my time talking about it. All fans of DC that know it was just horse trash. So now let's hopefully hope if there's another Just League movie coming out, which, which, which I don't know when it's going to come out. But if it does, they need to be on the get right. Because Just League movie came out in 2017, I believe. And man, it was bad. You know what I mean? But Superman is a great character. DC got to do a better job with this dude. Please do a better job with this dude. I know y'all can. So, you know, but I think Henry Calvin is going to make a great Superman. But it wouldn't hurt me if they if, he, if they could take the actor from the TV show and let him be Superman in the movies. But I guess they'll never do that. We've never seen them take somebody who stars in the TV show and put them in a the movie. You know what I mean? Which they should. But hey, whatever. That's DC, man. But You've been gone a long time. Where did you go? Hello. Yeah, well, you've been gone. Fearless reporter Lois Lane is a mommy. But if you ask me, she's still in love with you-know-who. How could you leave us like that? I know Dom, so did the rest of us. The world doesn't need a savior. And neither do I. This is kind of a little reunion, isn't it? Heck, I'm a fan. I'll have advanced technology. Thousands of years beyond what anyone could throw at me. But millions of people will die. Billions! You wrote that the world doesn't need a savior. But every day I hear people crying for one. <laughs> Come on, let me hear you say it just once. You're insane. No! <laughs> no, it would be other thing. Superman will no! I see it. 
My son was in the bus. He saw what Clark did. You have to keep this side of yourself a secret. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? Maybe. I have so many questions. Where do I come from? Just have to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be, Clark. Whoever that man is, he's going to change the world. That's Superman for today, man. This guy went from, from the origins to the history to the powers to the comics to the animation to the TV shows to the movies. Superman is by far one. He's, he's definitely top five superheroes of all time. Um, where you want to rank him, that's your business. But DC, please, 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 please. Can we please start to get right with the, with the animation and the movies, for God's sake. Just, just, just do a good job. It's not that hard. You know what I mean? So that's, that's Superman for today, man. Been, it's an amazing talk about this amazing character. Um, I, I know it took me a while to get to Superman, but I finally got to him. So, yo, that's what we got going today. Before we get up out of here, you know what I mean? We got to recap on all the cool stuff that we got available right now on our website. So let's start off with these. Uh, we got water bottles. You know what I mean? Water bottles available in multiple characters. Yes, Superman included. But right now, this one is the Carjack Assassin one. And of course, it's got all my goals on here. I like to always have my personal goals on here. And yes, I have water in here. Not alcohol, because I don't drink. It's water. Yeah. That tastes awesome. Then, of course, travel neck pillows, because we're back to traveling. And look, you get Superman in this travel neck pillow, too. But this right here is a Carjack Assassin. And on, on this version side, it's got version 5. On this side is version one, but you got them in multiple characters. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Voltron, Turtles, Mega Man, Black Panther, uh, Black Lightning. You name it, we got it, man. You know what I mean? Even with the water bottles, too, it's the same thing, too. We got them in Superman, Turtles, Voltron, Mega Man, Batman, Black Panther. You name it, we got it, man. Check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, glasses cases. You got to have the glasses cases. I've had this for God knows how long. Check out the glasses cases, y'all. I'm going to do a 360 so y'all can see it all the way. Then, of course... Check it out. Yes, I know you're wondering. Is there really glasses cases? Yes, it is. That's right there. It's a cleaning cloth. This is what I use to clean my glasses. Right? And then, yes, my glasses are actually really in there. Yes, they are. As you can see, they actually came out of there. I'm going to wipe them with the cleaning cloth. The custom cleaning cloth. And it comes in every, every character that every character that you buy the glasses for has a cleaning cloth of their own. Custom everything, man. This is what we do in the Sun's Vision. And, yes, I'm wiping it. And you know it's for real. I'm putting them on on. Putting them on. Look at that. Yep. This is what we do in the Sonic Vision, man. You know? Then, of course, we got bucket hats. Oh, yeah. Bucket hats. Woo! Reversible, too. Double-sided. So, right here on this side is Card of Assassin's version 5. Look, I'm going to let you see the whole thing. Right? But then, if you flip it, we got version 1 right here. So, every bucket hat of any character that you order, I'm going to double-side it in double colors, too. One side is going to be gray, like on this one, and then the other side is going to be blue. So, this is version one of the characters right here, Card of Assassins. Then, when you flip it, I got blue on this side, like y'all saw before. So, we got multiple colors, y'all. I'm not messing around. I'm giving you every penny, all your pennies worth, man. Then, of course, no pun intended, I have a penny worth. Then, of course, you got baseball caps. Custom baseball caps. This is what doing the sound division. How many baseball caps are you going to see with hot art on the rim, too? Yeah, this is what we're doing in the Sun Vision, man. 
all day, every day. Everything's super custom. Check this out. Look at this. This is sick, man. So baseball caps available with multiple characters too, just like the bucket hat. Whether it's Carja for Assassins, Blade, Iron Man, Batman, Voltron, Wonder Woman, Thundercats, Turtles, um, Black Lightning, um, you name it, we got it, man. You know what I mean? And then of course, I don't want to forget the puffer jackets. You know what I mean? These quite are, these are quite popular. People show me love when I went on the Strike Mad compliments, man. So go get yours today. Check this out, man. Look at this. Fully art customized and created by yours truly. You know my tailor skills are not second to none. Check this out, man. Look at this. Look at the back. Look at the right arm. Look at the front right there. And yes, it's got the awesome zipper. I know you're wondering what it looks like on the inside. Check that out. It's nice and clear. It's got all over the inside too. So we're doing the Sunday's vision. You know what I mean? So puffer, puffer jackets, y'all, on sunnysvision.com. Then of course, because of art, we love the art. I got to show y'all posters, man. Now I just showed y'all Superman. Let me see if I can find them again. There goes Superman. But we got more posters. We got Hulk. You know what I mean? Let me see what else I can show y'all. You know what I mean? We got Wolverine. We got Black Panther right there. And you know, I'm going to show you Blade. Blade. Iron Man, and yes, we ain't gonna forget no ladies because we got plenty of ladies. You know what I mean? Oh, can't forget these two. Huh. Batman, Green Lantern, John Stewart. All these posters are multiple sizes 11 by 17, 13 by 19, 24 by 36, and then canvas R2 as well. Then, of course, come on, I gotta show you the ladies, man. We got Rogue, we got Captain Marvel. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can find Storm for y'all. Then I'm gonna show you some Card Off Assassin's posters because I know y'all get down for that. Ooh, I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Storm, Wonder Woman, and check this out. I know y'all wanna see this. I got to show y'all this. Chon Lee, Black Panther Shuri, you know what I mean? Then of course, more art. I got to show y'all the Card Off Assassin's universe. You know what I'm saying? If you want posters from the Card Off Assassin universe, that's the whole Card Off Assassin universe right there. All the assassins, all the carjacks, you know what I'm saying? Then of course you got the carjacks right here, you know what I'm saying? You got Cajun right there. I'm gonna show you a few other characters. You know what I'm saying? We got Escalade, Sincere, Glocks, Raspin. That's what we're doing over here at Sound of Vision, man. Diesel Shepherd, you know? Then of course the assassins, man, led by Lord Sun Su right there, that villainous individual, you know? We got our uh, Artillery, Excursion, Kanji, Revo, huh. Snipes, and Yukon. Let's see if we can get the awesome Coyotes. And then of course, you got the Coyotes, you know what I mean? So this is what we're doing in the Sound Division, man. All kinds of cool stuff, all the time, every time. This is what we're doing. Let me take off these glasses, man, so y'all can see. You know what I mean? But this is what we're doing in the Sound Division. Big things. Cool material, so go on soundvision.com and get yours pair. We got sweatpants, we got hoodies, and of course, can't forget the Sound of Vision podcast t-shirt. Available now on soundvision.com, so get your pair today. Multiple sizes, multiple colors. We're going to have them in hoodies. We're going to have it on beanies. We're going to have it on sweatpants. We're going to have it on jackets, puffer jackets, bomber jackets. You name it, we're going to have it on there, man. You know what I mean? Of course, look at my beanie, custom beanie. I don't even want to forget this. Look at this, y'all. This is a blade beanie right here, custom beanie. Available on soundvision.com, keeping you warm. And then you can flip it because it's double sided. Now, this one just has to be black on the outside and black on the inside, but I can give you multiple colors too. And then multiple characters Card of Assassins, Blade, Iron Man, Batman, Wonder Woman, Voltron, Turtles, Mega Man. Look at the detail on this mess, man. Look at this. You can actually see the characters. Look at that. I don't play, man. And then you flip the beanie on the inside. Look at that. Look at the quality. Look at this. You know how many years I've had this thing? No fading. This is what we're doing in Sound Vision. Big things. Look at the name, Asho. This is what we're doing in Asho right here, man. That's my clothing line right there. Own it, hook, line, and sinker, baby. You know what I mean? So this is what we're doing in Sound Vision, man. So, y'all, that's all the cool products we got. And before we get up out of here, I don't want to forget our Card Jaffa Assassin combo book because this bio book is going to lead to the first official Card Jaffa Assassin combo book that's coming out soon. It's the sickest, the sickest, sickest, sickest thing you've, you've seen. Um... I'm so proud of it, but this bio book is what explains to you the first official cause of Assassin's comic book. It is so sick. It's so sick that it's led to me creating the, a new animation intro, which I'm currently working on right now, which is also super sick. That's the beauty of having a dream, not allowing anybody to stop it, 
and also to the beauty of being me, having the ability to not only just be a businessman, but be a creative individual as well. So I, I don't have to wait on anybody to do, <laughs> to do anything for me, not to draw, not to write, not to create. I've been blessed and the universe has given me the strength and the vision to know how to execute all I want to do. I'm a one-man wrecking crew. I say it. You know what I mean? So, if you want to understand what's going to go on in the first original Card of Sass comic book, you got to get this bio book. And this bio book talks about the characters, the heroes, the carjacks, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, those crazy villains, the assassins led by Lord Sun Tzu. But, yo, this bio book, available on SamVision.com, just like all the other stuff that I showed y'all, excuse me. Available on samvision.com so you can get your copy today so you can understand when the first official, <coughs> excuse me, when the first official Card for Saskum book comes out, you're going to know what's up. So, you know what I mean? Get this today because that comic book is off the chain. It's, it's a game changer, y'all. It's changing my life right now. It's not even released yet. So, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when it is released. There's nothing like being your own creator, not waiting for any company. Not waiting for any organization, not waiting for anybody. I just go, 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 and go. Because I've chosen to just use my creativity, nothing is, it, I haven't been slowed down. Like, I'm able to save the money, put the money together, whether it's comic books, whether it's posters, whether it's whatever I need for my art, for this card job session universe. I just keep going. I don't let no one stop me. Not no job, not no, not having enough money, not no whatever. I just keep going, man. And as long as you keep going, your dreams gonna manifest into reality, man. You are the champ. You are the driver and the um and the creator and keep up your dreams. Don't let no one tell you what you can and can't do, man. That's why I've, this universe right here, this card of assassin universe, that's mine that I've created. One person created all these characters. That's right. That you're looking at. All me right here. All me. Nobody else did this. Me. Their names. Their color schemes. Their uniforms. Their weapons. Their abilities and everything they can do. All me. You know what I mean? So. Carjack for Assassins bio book available on SamVision.com because it's going to help you get ready for the first official Carjack for Assassins comic book, y'all. So, y'all, that's our show for today. I want to thank y'all for listening. It's been awesome talking about Superman. I've been waiting a long time to talk about Superman. It's, it was one hell of a show, so I want to thank y'all for listening. This podcast is produced, written, and directed by yours truly, Adewala Kuki Jr. Please check out our website at SamVision.com for all the cool stuff that we got. And y'all know we got some cool stuff. You can't play a hate, man. You know what I'm saying? From the water bottles... To the glasses cases, shoot, to the wallets, to the comic books right there. Then, of course, I don't want to forget the journals. Journals, always good to write your own history, man. The journals, they're very important, front and back. You know what I'm saying? Our journals are hard covers, as you can see right here, available on soundvision.com. That way, you can write your history every day. As I've said before in the past, I'm in therapy, and I love being in therapy. I've got to tell you, man, it really changes your perspective on things. There's a calmness and a serenity, and a peace, and a clarity that comes from being in it, able to, helping you to understand your past. And by understanding your past, you can finally write your future in a journal, your daily achievements. You know, every day I tell myself, live in serenity, achieve greatness. And I live in serenity and achieve greatness. And these are things that I write in my journal. I love to write my intentions of the day is always live in serenity, achieve greatness. So get your journal today, available on soundvision.com. You know what I'm saying? You can get any character that we got on there. From the car characters, from the car drive assassin universe, to Blade, Iron Man, Batman, Voltron, Mega Man, you name it, it's available. And if it ain't available on the website, shoot us an email. You know what I'm saying? At sunvisionshop at gmail.com. Sunvision, go to the, our website, shoot us an email, contact us, and we'll be able to get back to you and let you know which character you want. And we'll definitely get out to you. And we got it in multiple colors too. Blue, green, dark gray, red. You know what I'm saying? These journals are sick as hell, man. You know what I mean? So, sunvision.com. And y'all, please... Please subscribe to our, 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 um, our, our, podcast, our podcast on our YouTube channel. Yes. Our YouTube channel is on and I'm popping right now. I am so proud of it. This is what happens when you believe in yourself. I go from having my podcast on Spotify, Apple, whatever you want to call it. I'm like, look, it's not enough for people to hear me, man. It's better for them to see me. And sure enough, that decision is being validated right now. You know what I'm saying? That we get so many views, man. We, get, we got so many subscribers now, so many subs. I love the fact that I'm gaining followers and the thing about youtube is the following is really loyal it's not like tiktok or um or instagram or facebook or whatever you know i would say or it's not like tiktok or twitter or anything it's like that's more of a popularity contest here on youtube or on facebook on youtube they're really loyal to once they see your channel like your channel they're going to tell their friends about their channel i'm so proud of what i'm doing so far on this channel it's it's amazing you know what i mean so that's sunvision.com you got to subscribe to our podcast on sunvision.com so that you can be ready get notifications on new episodes we show up every monday 
every Monday. Amazing new episodes. I've just been in a different zone ever since I changed it to YouTube. It's just on and popping, y'all. So new episodes available on, on Sunvision.com. And those same episodes are also available on Sunvision.com. So the episodes that you see on YouTube channel, I make, I make the newest one always available on Sunvision.com. So y'all, check that out, man. And please, don't forget our social media platforms. YouTube, Facebook, t TikTok, X, Instagram. Let me tell y'all, if you're an artist and you don't be using your social media, you, you are slipping up so bad it ain't even funny. You got to be on the get right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta be, um, man, I don't know how to tell you. You got, you gotta, you gotta use social media for what you want for and quit worrying about who's liking your stuff and who ain't liking your stuff, man. Your job is not to please the world. Your job is to create art that's gonna be a part of the world. And I don't stress that nonsense about worrying about what idiots are on there hating. I don't have time for no negative energy nonsense, man. If you write anything negative, I don't even bother applying you. I just block and then swipe left and delete your sorry carcass. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what, what platform is on, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, X or Instagram. I don't read the hater stuff. I don't have the energy. I'm not, I hear people say all the time, oh yeah, the negative energy gives me energy. How does negative energy give you energy? Them hating on you. Like if they hate on you, let them hate. That means they're wasting their time on you while you busy wasting, while you pursuing your dreams. So while they could be pursuing their dreams, they play hating on you. I ain't got time for that nonsense, man. So yo, social media, man, it's on a pop and it's free. It's a free platform. And if you get great enough, they will pay you. There's people that their living is on social media. Like, they don't even have a the job. Their job is their social media platform. So, if all these people are doing it, why would not want to join that party? And then, not to mention, you use your social media platform to grow your brand. That's probably been the best part of using social media. The amount of branding I've been able to do. The growth of my website. The visit rate of my website. It's insane. When I see the analytics, I'm like, oh, this is sick. And so, with social media, especially with YouTube... You can see the you can see the analytics. You can see the average view on the videos. You can see how many people have viewed it. You can see so many things that help you to understand how it is that the video is doing well, so that you can continue to make good videos like that. So, I love social media for that. I ain't worried about no hater nonsense, man. And look, y'all, as I've been saying, you gotta use it. It's a it's a it's a benefit to you. If you're an artist and you ain't using it, well, hey, it's just your loss. You're the one losing, not not social media, because. The way everything is going now, companies ain't just trying to shell money out, spend on you. They want to know what you're going to do to pull yourself up. You know what I'm saying? To get yourself right. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out which one to show you. And so, y'all, as always, y'all, and like I said before, please review us, rate us, give us a five star, don't be a hater. And as always, y'all, continue to aspire and achieve. Have a great week. Stay safe, y'all. Peace. Excuse me.
never allowing myself to lose control. Even for a moment, someone could die. But you can take it, can't you, big man? What we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose and show you just how powerful. 